welcome back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. Except this one hasn't been shared. We bought this one. Well, technically, uh, so Patreon bought. bought yeah. Technically, because there we of go. Patreon, we'll we were say, able to buy the bottle. So it's really you. sweet that our patrons shared it with <laughs> us indirectly. Sharing your funds. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> normally, you know, a distillery will send us something, or a patron or friend will share a sample with us. This one, we just saw it and it was new, and we're like, we want to do a short and sweet on this. So yeah. this is the Jim Beam uh, Black Seven Year. Okay, so it's not entirely new because Jim Beam Black exists. Yep. It's just that seven year age statement has returned and it's now 90 proof instead of 86. Yeah, so I'm... I'm uh, this is a story we've heard before. Yeah, it's reminiscent of the Evan Williams 1783 when it went from 86 proof to 90 proof mm -hmm. and got that bottle redesigned. The normal, uh, you can still find this on the shelf, mm -hmm. Beam Black is 86 proof. Extra aged. And just extra aged, which means, you know, if Jim Beam White Label is four years, which is the minimum to not have the age statement on the label, which it doesn't, Extra age is just more than four, and that's all we can. We don't know we anything more off. than that. However, way back when it looked like this, being black, double aged. So then four becomes eight. Eight. Eight year age statement. When things, the bourbon boom happened, things started to get more popular. This went away, and that extra, extra aged, aged came back. But gives now, them more flexibility. A seven year <laughs> age statement. Uh, not to keep <laughs> going on this too much longer, but there used to be a Jim Beam white label that was seven year age dated. Mm -hmm. It was 80 proof and it was just a few bucks more. And I always went for that, uh, that red seven as I was just getting into bourbon, becoming the proof found that I am now mm -hmm. type of type of thing. But then that went away too. So here we are. There's your story. Pretty classic bean nose. I mean, there's some like lighter nuttiness, fruit yeah. notes in there, but mm -hmm. there is nuttiness. We should also say this Maltiness. was $29. $29 for a seven year. Seven year 90 proof? I mean, not awful. Uh, not awful, not no. Awful. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know, that's sort of cutting in on the territory of Baker's, which is a 107 proof. A little bit. Uh, well, actually, that age statement went up. Um, mm -hmm. Normally, they're like eight and a half years now, but uh, seven year would be the minimum that you'd find in a, in a baker's. Yeah, but you got that proof difference. Got that proof difference. But this would be a good alternative. It might be. It's, right. yeah, it's smelling not like Beam White Label, but more like a, a baker's, mm -hmm. like that level of... Um, it's not quite there, but you can tell they're more, more yeah. closely related. Yeah, that level of more exceptionality, so, whatever. Whatever. To your health. Okay. For 30 bucks. That ain't bad. No. Ain't bad at all. For 30 bucks, I would take this to gatherings, parties, mm -hmm. whatever, what have you. Now, is this your bourbon night where you're going to sit down and analyze it and pick <laughs> it apart and everyone's going to have a discussion? No. Probably not. But it is a good, I think, crowd pleaser. Mm. Something fun to take to events. You don't mind leaving it behind mm -hmm. because it's only 30 bucks. But right. it it does its job. You put this on a rock, yeah. put it in a cocktail. Okay, no big deal. But you can still drink it neat. And have a great time. I would say after the first sip, it's not long on the palate, but it did go mm -hmm. into the chest feels after that first sip. Not super big presence there in the chest, but um, it did go down in the chest. Left the palate pretty quick though. Let's see about the second sip. It hangs around for a second. Um, you get a little warmth here, but again, not much. You know, pretty much what I would expect for 90 proof. Mm -hmm. it still has a bit of a mouthfeel though, even though it's down yeah. to 90 proof. Well, since you saw we did just crack this open and pour it, we do want to let it sit here, see what it does in the glass for about 10 minutes. So while we wait, we want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the uh, t-shirt and hat that I'm wearing. Sarah, the uh, hoodie, because it's got a hood, also available in a sweatshirt style that you're wearing. All of our bottle cut candles, our jar candles, our challenge coins and pens and other t-shirts and hoodies and elemental elixir cocktail syrup and more that's always coming soon. That's a mouthful at whiskeyambitions.com. It sure was. Ah. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month and even just that one dollar helps us get bottles like this so we can do these types of reviews uh you yep. can also get access to events uh barrel pick exclusives after after the episode content and more yeah great way to support the show all right we need to let us sit for another about nine minutes so we'll be right back 10 minutes later and we're back here we go back to us the longer it sits the more that traditional nuttiness. Is and a little really, sweeter. That's what I thought too. I thought mm -hmm. it had like a sweet brightness, but also that traditional beam nuttiness, maltiness, I whatever agree. you want to call it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm not over the moon wild about it. Um, I think it's very solid. I think it's a great option. I think it matches the price uh, so pretty well. It does. My thing is going to be like, what 
what's the recommendation in between going with this at seven years at 90 proof? Why shouldn't I just get a Knob Creek small batch that has that nine year age statement back on it now? That is a little bit more, but like- Hardly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So like, <laughs> wh where do you make that decision between these two? The only thing that I could see is that by reintroducing this with the seven year age statement, they're gonna use that as an excuse to hike up the Knob Creek small batch price a little Ooh, bit. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna Hopefully happen. that's not coming. But they're gonna need to create some more separation between them. Mm -hmm. And with Booker's now being at a hundred bucks, basically, there's more room to play. So I think they're gonna spread the portfolio out more. Yeah, also- Just my thoughts. I gotta think the single barrel, which is 108 proof, and I wanna say it's around 26, 27, 28 mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we're right around this price. Last time that I looked, it's been a while. I kind of see us having a beam around $30 flight fight coming soon. Interesting. We have this, we have the small batch, or I'm sorry, the single barrel. We have the Knob Creek small batch 100 proof. Mm -hmm. And- There could be something else in there. Beam uh, Devil's Cut is 90 proof as well. So if we kept it between like 90 and, well, 108, it's kind of high for the uh, high. for the single barrel, so that might we'll have some difficulty look there. Into it. But I do think there is a. I yeah. mean, I know it's a different mash bill, but like OGD products, like OGD 114, sure. Also be made or bottled and bond or yeah. bottled and bond. Mm -hmm. You know, similar proof, similar yeah, price. Exactly, but hmm. I I, th I think for the, the 29 bucks, and hopefully maybe that'll go down and so the other stuff come up. I do think it is worth worth it if you like that nutty bean profile. Yeah, I would say also thumbs up do think it's great. Just tiny asterisk caveat, also consider Knob Creek small batch, which is, a, you know, always a crowd pleaser. Right. So yeah, yeah, one of those two. There we go. Well, that's where we're about to leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Patreon. Until next time, drink more bourbon.